Come on. Take it easy. Yeah, Kendrick. Kendrick. Mighty rusty and covered in creepers. Need another way in. Kendrick. Kendrick. You there? Not so loud. Ah! God, scared me off to... Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F foglets Oh, sweet mother my little why I ever come here? Kendrick fellow, who is he? I... we partners. Sneak into derelict houses. With something valuable lying about. Mm hmm So you're a thief? Thief steal from the living. W what's the arm taken from the dead? Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. And then nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but... What was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Pretty sprawling, this estate. How am I gonna find that rose in this fog, fresh manure? There's ice cold, mountain stream cold. Rather worn, used often. Wonder by who. What are you doing in a place like this? Best shoe before you get hurt. Shame you can't talk. A grave here? Someone's still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Woods rotted completely. here. Maybe somewhere out back. Scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. A lockpick? 
must have been the other thieves. Prints from cleated boots, leading from the back of the garden. Someone dragged a wounded man through here. Unmarked, laid out in rows, like garden beds. Hey. Hear me? thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you? What was that? No eyes or nostrils, deformed organs, damn thing had no right to be alive. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. What about this thing? What can you tell me? A friend of yours? We called him the caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away. Meaning where, exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals? You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. 
Later. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgierd von Everick? Yes. We know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgierd gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. Before it's too late. Families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Hmm. Fire damage. Interesting.
chamber. Iris was supposed to be here. be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her, for all time. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day, Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You wanna leave this place, leave these bodies. <sighs> Surprised. No, not at all. Her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. sit here, but this is not a good place for a grave. Too close to the house. I'll keep searching. Iris will never wreck adored flowers. But she would never want to destroy them. Hmm. All right, I'll dig the grave somewhere else. A grave here? seem suitable? Yes, she loved to paint. Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that.
I didn't know Iris von Eberek, so I can't say much about her. Fate had it a stranger now lays her remains in the grave. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear. Yet all deserve respite and peace and death. Your name's inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. You two, got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Should I follow you? All right. What is this place? The Painted World. The work of Iris von Everek. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death, it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say, 